right, everybody, Sylvia here. Thank you so much for joining me today. And, you know, I thought I would start off this video by explaining a little bit about my YouTube channel. It's something that I often forget to do. There's always new people that are watching these videos and I sometimes worry that people don't know why they should be watching my channel. And so I started this a few years ago as a way to expand how I document my travels. I've been traveling all over the world for a long time. I started when I was in my 40s, I'm now in my 60s. And for most of that time, I was traveling on a recumbent tricycle. I was traveling solo all over the world. And then a couple of years ago, I switched things up. I bought this truck, Beastie, and I'm pulling a 17 foot trailer, Bestie, as a way to travel more comfortably around the United States. And so these videos really document for me, for my friends and my family, my travels. But I also want to make them interesting and uh, more inclusive so that other people will find them interesting as well. And I think the biggest takeaway that I really want to uh, give to anybody watching is, you know, I'm at a well over 60. I am not strong. I am not wealthy. And I think the biggest message that I want to impart is if I can do this, you can do this. Anybody can do this. So today, I am on my way to Ben Up Cycles and there is something else that I'm going to be trying out. I'm always testing things and trying out new things. And so I want to show you guys uh, what I want to do on this drive. All right. So one thing that I really want to try out today is I picked up the latest iteration of the Insta360 Go 2. This, it looks exactly the same, it works exactly the same, but this one has twice the storage capacity. The first one had about 30 gigabytes, this one has 64 gigabytes. I also put a polarizing filter on the lens, and I'm hoping that this is going to help with the reflection and some of the glare that I was getting through the windshield when I was driving. So lots to check out. Um, let me just show you guys how I have this attached. So this pivot mount comes with the camera and you can see it pivots very easily. And I have it attached with Velcro and a rubber band and I really use it as a dash cam. And this form factor just makes it very, very safe. So let's say I'm narrating, I've got it pointed towards me. Um, you push a button, it starts recording, you get a noise, you know that it has started. When you want to stop the recording, you just push it again. And what's really great about this is I don't need to look at the camera. I can hear it, I can feel the vibration. So I know when the camera is started and when it has stopped. And if I wanna show what's happening in front as I'm driving, I can just easily reach over and turn it on this uh, pivot mount. The other thing I think they have um, improved is the sound quality. And so I think the sound is gonna be clearer. We will see. So, all right, lots going on with this drive today. Let's go. Come on, Myrtle, let's go. I am driving on a very stormy morning here in Los Angeles. Head north on West Silver Lake Drive toward Bright Lane. I am on my way to in Dana mile, Lieberman's right on bike shop, Avenue. Ben Up Cycles, to pick up Myrtle. I dropped off Myrtle yesterday to get a new chain and some TLC. Google is taking me through Hollywood to get on the 101 freeway. Very stormy and wet. Big, big storm coming through the city right now. Just had a crazy amount of rain overnight. And I'm excited because I think there's going to be a ton of snow dumped in the mountains. But I guess it's kind of fun to get through the city instead of just on the freeways. I just gave a homeless guy 20 bucks. All I had was $20 bills and oh my gosh, you would have thought I gave him a million dollars. 
Oh my gosh, it's just pouring down rain here. It's the holidays. Like, you know, sometimes you just have to be generous. Turn left on the so now we're one north ramp. Getting on the highway 101. 101 freeway, the Hollywood freeway. See, the freeway here is really flooded. We have four-wheel drive, and my truck is really high, so I shouldn't be affected by all this water, but, you know, it's for sure an issue for a lot of these cars and vans that are lower to the ground. Destination is on the right. Bend up cycles. Oh, and there's, oh, there's a parking spot. Perfect. Here we are. So Dana is open only by appointment because of COVID. So yeah, we're at Ben Up Cycles. We're gonna go in, we're gonna go get Myrtle, and we're gonna meet Lorena and the mechanics in the shop. Maybe some puppies too. We'll see. Being greeted by puppies. Look at this little guy, little pugster. So excited. And they're all dressed for the holidays. Yes. So this is Ben Up Cycles. Hi, Raina. Hi, Chris. And the mechanics area, and we got the showroom. They're very low on stock, as most bike shops are. But it's pretty cool, isn't it? And then here's Myrtle. She has a new chain and some TLC. Chris is putting Loctite on the screws that hold the mount adjustment in place because I've been um, having issues with this coming loose. I keep the trike in the back of the truck and there's just a lot of vibration back there and um, it's come loose a couple of times and while I'm on my rides, you know, the, I'll lose connection from the battery to the motor because the mount has come loose and the battery isn't as tight in the mount as it needs to be but with this locked tight on these screws i shouldn't have this issue anymore many many thanks to chris you're welcome we've got new brake pads and a new chain and just um some simple tlc myrtle is back in business very good. Many, many thanks. Of course. My pleasure. My pleasure. All right. So I have picked up Myrtle from Ben Up Cycles and they did a great job. It turned out that the electric assist, the Shimano Steps E8000 had an update. And so they plugged it into the computer and got that updated. One of my brake pads, the one on the left was so low Don't he said chris said Stay he'd never seen one. a brake Turn pad right that well Boulevard. used and you know i'm always holding the camera with my right hand using the controls on the left and so it totally makes sense that that one would get used up faster so i have new brake pads i have a new chain which was really the reason why i went in my um chain was very old i think that chain's at least three years old and it was really dirty he said he'd spent a lot of time cleaning the front ring and the back cog um so right. everything's really just in really tip-top shape now so yeah it's kind of kind of exciting to get uh, myrtle give her some tlc and should be riding a lot better now and the the weather has improved significantly not raining raining nearly as hard Seems like this storm may be passing pretty quickly. And we're making our way back to Los Angeles and the Silver Lake area. Yeah, so you have to let me know what you think about this camera. If you see any improvements, I just think it's really fun half a mile, to have this to to dash cam south, that's just so easy to use. And I can just reach over, just turn it on. You know, I can just easily turn it around so that it faces me and I can talk into the camera um, without 
you know, having any safety issues while I'm driving. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. And are you seeing an improvement for the glare and the reflection in the front windshield? How is the sound? Because I have a feeling that they made some improvements to this camera, to the sound quality, um, beyond just increasing the storage capacity. So yeah, here we go. And I just made um, an improvement to the way it's attached to the back of my mirror. And so the Velcro is holding much tighter. I'm thinking about switching out that Velcro for a magnet. Stay in the left lane. To hold the um, pivot mount in place. But this is working out pretty well. Okay. We're just going to stay in this lane. We're not going to take the 101. We're going to take right. the 134. Yeah, the range in five point six miles. Take the exit to merge onto I five South toward Los Angeles. Yeah, see, this camera is just so much fun. I have it hanging off of my rear view mirror. It's completely unobtrusive. It feels totally safe, and. I'm on the I-5 freeway driving in a rainstorm and it feels completely safe. And I just I just think it's a, a wonderful form factor. And I think with these improvements to the storage and putting this filter on to reduce the glare and reflection in the mirror, I think that's really gonna help a lot. Please let me know what you think about this. Leave a comment in the comment section below. I love hearing from everybody. And uh, yeah, have a happy holiday season and I will see you in the next video.